As for the methodology for the last video, I only counted game animals because that's what was included in the Forestry Service survey that I referenced. I wasn't trying to cherry pick the data to make my point. My understanding is that the Forestry Service doesn't manage critter populations, and thus doesn't track them. As such, I was unable to find an authoritative source on the levels of critter populations. As for fish, I know that they manage them and thus must track them, but fish populations weren't included in the report I referenced, and I was unable to find another report that provided similar figures on fish species. So if any of you are familiar with authoritative sources on either group that you can send my way, I'd be happy to include those figures in my analysis. But without data from authoritative sources, we're all just speculating. But like I said in the last video, my speculation of the impact of fish and critters to the total calories needed to sustain the population is that they're negligible. So let's do some math to check my speculation. But bear in mind that since this is speculation, there will be a lot of estimating, averaging, rounding, and generalizing, because I don't have the time nor is it my area of expertise to do a full research project on this. 